But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and <clears throat> peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends. Uh, before I start, I, I was just uh, having some conversation with uh, a Christian. He is uh, disabled. And uh, he asked me for something I find very strange. Uh, very nice of him actually. Uh, he said that he is posting my videos in, a, in a channels in YouTube and other uh, social media and he said this month he made an income of four thousand dollars he said he feel like he don't deserve it this money should go to you cp because it's your video it's your work uh, even i am disabled but i feel guilty to, to keep the money <clears throat> so i said to him no you keep the money uh, you deserve it it's your work and i'm happy for you um, you know, he said, but they don't allow you to receive advertising or anything in YouTube. I said, don't worry, you know, God bless you. I'm, I'm glad actually that you are uh, getting support you need, you are disabled. But here you see how decent, decent this man, you know, even he's making money, you know, from my videos. He felt bad. That's, you know, Christian Prince himself, he don't, uh, YouTube don't allow him to get what he's getting. Uh, I appreciate really this kind of people. They are wonderful. Uh, but I, I say to him, never feel guilty. <clears throat> I say to everybody, go ahead, download my video, post it. And if you make money, good for you. God bless you. So we continue our topic today. And it's about why Muslim they have, every Muslim have different God, different Allah. Uh, you know, if you search right now in the internet, who is Allah? Every Muslim will give you a different answer. And every Muslim will justify, or let us say, will describe God as he wish. <laughs> Most of them, they agree in something very funny, which is the creator. But we know, and I say very funny because the Quran mentioned clearly that Allah is not the only creator. As an example, Jesus himself, he created from the mother bird. And the one who can create a, a bird, he can create a human because bird have a soul, human has a soul. Doesn't matter what you design, whatever the shape you make from mud, you breathe into it, and this is what Jesus did. Same time in the Quran, uh, it says that Allah is the best of the creators, which means Allah He Himself admit that there is many creators, but He is the best. So who is Allah? Why the Muslims are fighting over this God? Why they cannot agree about even the, the basic uh, uh, understanding of Islam? You will see every Muslim attacking the other Muslim. And uh, some, they, uh, you know, they call them kuffar. Some, they call them satanic. Some, they call them just because so no, Muslim, human Muslims, Muslims, they have different... Let's uh, say different agreement about who is this God Allah. Bismillah walhamdulillah. Uh, Bismillah walhamdulillah. This is the good thing about them. 
I'm just trying to find you a video. Hold on, give me a second. Create an intellectual idea. Yeah. Let us see. Let us see how this guide will work for us. This is how some let us see here. All right. As we know, now we are celebrating the uh, anniversary, one year anniversary of the Quran. Uh, the standard narratives, narrative has holes in it. And, you know, uh, celebrating such an occasion would obviously shake the Muslim faith heavily. Uh, for I mean, all of them they knew, but behind door they speak about it. But when somebody said it loud and clear. But here you will notice how the Muslims, they... Uh, bite each other and how they you know they stab uh, the back of each other and all of this because you say what you believe you know you say what you believe about uh, your Quran you say what you think about Allah you say what you think about your, uh, your your prophet and especially if you are a sheikh and you have knowledge uh, the little ones they will bite you and the big ones will curse you and the middle one they have no idea what's going on and uh, the bold one who lost his hair, he is going to shave his hair again because of what you said. Yes, al Qadi should be shut down. His channel should be shut down. He should never be allowed to open his mouth about <laughs> Islam. Wallahi, wallahi, this person is a disaster that has, has uh, engulfed this ummah. When you do a deep dive is when things get very, very awkward and difficult. No, no. If you want misguidance, if you want misguidance, listen to Yasser Qadi. The preservation of the Ahruf, is it one, is it three, is it seven? Yasser Al Qadi, I accuse you. You are worse than the layman people. You failed. You failed. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. The issue of Ahruf and Qiraat caused confusion to somebody whom the Prophet said, if you want to listen to the Quran directly, listen to Ubay. Live. We don't care. The most advanced. Look at some four. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Purple? Anyway, so as you see, you know, they are beating each other, biting each other, going crazy against each other, simply just because the guy, he said uh, the truth. And yeah, it is two year anniversary. Sorry, not one year anniversary. You know, this is remind me, uh, you know, we in the Middle East, uh, uh, we appreciate farting. I don't know if I told you the story of Hamad. So Hamad, he's a person who farted. And then uh, the whole tribe start talking about him for years and years. So he decided to migrate to different country, different location. And he came back after 40 years because he missed his tribe. So when he came back, he saw an old woman. He asked her about her son because, you know, uh, her son is like when he was young, he was close to his age. So he said, hey, how is your son? Uh, his name is etc. Et Aren't you his mother? She said, yes. He said, how, is old? How, is, how old is he now? She said, I don't remember. Or what I remember that he was born four years before Hamad farting, farted. So now the, the the Muslims, they will make a point of history, since Yasser Qadi farted. But name for me one Muslim is not farting every day, and causing the Muslim problems. Just name one one for me. The last fart we receive, it was from uh, Ali Lili Dawa saying that uh, there is no miracle in the Quran. This is the last updated fart, the brand new fart. This is just like fresh, smell is still in the air. Sometimes certain things, look, it might be that Andrew Tate came to Islam for the wrong reasons. But guess what? What is the wrong reason? Women? Protection if he go to like they want to take him to jail. He will seek asylum. We know we know the story He converted to Islam because he want to run away to Dubai 
Uh -huh. But uh, too bad, they got him before he fly. Mm. Now, give us the fourth of the year. What? He may be staying in Islam for the right reasons. How? I One of the reasons I accepted Islam was the scientific miracles. I'll be honest with you. And now we know that this whole scientific miracles was absolute nonsense. Not now we know all those scientific miracles is nonsense. It's just a stupid, you know, a stupid thing. It's a lie. And then when the Muslim, they start biting him, get so angry from him, uh, you know, uh, he made another video. You know, those those Muhammadan, uh, they don't admit that they are like doing poo, poo and they are hurting their religion by saying the truth sometime. I mean, why in the world do you want to say such a thing? The Muslims are lying for the last 25 years about scientific miracle in the Quran. And you stupid you. You destroy everything in one day. So now anyone, any any Muslim, he will say to a Christian, don't you know about the said scientific miracle of the Quran? As an example, the woman have a sperm coming from her ribs, which is proven to be scientifically. <laughs> and uh, Allah, he hold the sky so don't fall on us. <laughs> Hey Allah, please keep holding the sky, otherwise going to fall on us. And uh, <clears throat> and there is an azure mountain surrounding the earth from every direction. And this is the fence Allah, he put the mountain to to make a fence. And there is a Gog and Magog behind the dam, may Allah damn you. I mean, the uh, Quran is full of science, are you kidding me? But thank you for saying, finally, you know, why, what, why you do that? Did Christian Prince pay you? Be honest with me. I mean, this is something fishy. It doesn't sound doesn't sound right. I mean, who is the Muslim in the world now will believe you? Every Muslim he believes there is scientific fart in the Quran. Uh, scientific fact, fact, not fart. Sorry, my English is not good. <clears throat> uh, uh, by the way, I have a warning for the Muhammadan. Any one of you, he will send me a threat. Any one of you will send me a threat. I just met a new friend. It's a goat. And this goat told me, anytime a Muslim, he threatened you not to insult the Prophet or the Quran, you can give me the Quran immediately and I will rip it apart. Not only that, I will step on it and I will hit it so hard and I will eat it. So don't make us angry. Be nice. You want to debate us, debate us. A threat will not help you. Violence does not scare us. Trust me, if your words or your act scaring us, we will never be speaking one word. You can scare only, you know, a bunch of girls. And there are some men, they are like girls too. You know, not necessarily girls are girls. There are some men, they have a mustache, but they fear and they are cowards. That is not me. So don't make a threat, behave yourself, otherwise the goat is waiting for me. And she is from a good family. The only problem, she said, I will sacrifice for you, my friend. It's Quran. This is really bad, but for the sake of the purpose, you know. It's a noble purpose, you know, this goat, she understood the situation. So just I'm warning you, don't, don't ever make a threat again. So now the scientific miracle turned to be false, and uh, Lili Dawa, she is saying to every Muslim, no, I did not make a slip of a tongue. Muslim don't make a slip of a tongue. Muslim, they make a slip of immigration. As an example, Prophet, he wanted to go uh, to the Jannah, you know, in the seven heaven in the sky. He ended where? He ended in Ethiopia to the point he saw uh, the Nile River there, you know, and he, he ended in Turkey or was uh, north of Syria. He saw even the Euphrates there. I mean, what, what they are doing there in the heaven of Allah. So the Muslims always, they don't make a slip of a tongue, they make a slip, all kind of a slip. And this is a different kind. TV miracles in the Quran got debunked. And for some odd reason, funnily enough, like as if they thought that it was a slip of the tongue. I'll repeat it again, very carefully. The scientific miracles argument in the Quran got debunked. Okay, why you don't tell us the names of those who debunked the scientific miracle of the Quran? Why you don't complete your favor and put the list. Who is number one will be? Just be honest with me. Who is the first one who wrote books about the scientific miracles of the Quran in the world? Is his name a Christian prince? 
So all the lies of the Muhammad and turn to be false. Now, my Skype is open. I'm not going to ask you about scientific miracles no more because obviously it is debunked and that means our mission here is finito. I'm going to ask you how in the world you Muslim you try to refute anyone accused Islam with anything. If I go right now to Lili Dawa page, as an example, not, not limited. Uh, well, hold on, what, what is the Lili Dawa? <clears throat> uh, just to avoid searching too much. How man should treat his what? How man? Okay, hold on. Ali Dawa. So they were lying for 25 years about or more about scientific miracles. And now, how men should treat. Okay. Look at this one. Lili Dawa. Lili Dawa, uh, he is a person who want to school you about ethical, ethic, ethic life. So listen carefully what Lili Dawa want to say. How to be ethical the intentions of marriage and some of them would literally be touchy touchy would in a nutshell give you know signs to certain things and to me as a man i had to know better mm -hmm. because we have this attitude a lot of men have this if she's behaving like a hoe i'll treat her like a hoe not in islam islam says allah says in the quran tell the believing men to lower your gaze meaning i don't care if she's wearing a bikini mini skirt niqab fully covered you can't even see the eyes my job is to look away Muslims, if this is your job as a Muslim, have you ever seen a Muslim? He is not looking at the ass of women in the street, starting from Muhammad. Starting from who? Starting from Muhammad himself. And this is the reference. This is what Islam teach you. So Islam teach you that, but your prophet is the worst man. In the, are you saying the bad Muslim is the one who do that and this is your prophet? This is Muhammad. He keeps staring at the women walking by until he got so horny to the point he cannot hold his testicles together. Read it. All is this is Sahih. Recommendation, the chapter title, read the chapter. The chapter will tell you what Muhammad was doing. Recommendation to the one who see a woman, who sees a woman, and he is attracted to her to go to his wife or slave women and have intercourse with her. But we just heard this potato saying that a good Muslim man is the one who turned his face away. It doesn't matter if she is wearing bikini or, or, or burkini. Burkini. So if this is the scenario, so why you Muslim, you want to have multi wives? Is that because you turn your face away? Or because you want more? Isn't it you who made videos about having secret wives? How we will find the wife without looking? And why you are looking if you have a wife already? Muhammad, he have 13 wives and a woman walk by and he is attracted to her. This is their description, not mine. This is not my description. So he's attracted to her and he keeps staring at her ass until she walk away. And the woman, she is a Muslim. She's wearing Burqa Faso. She's from Burkina Faso. She's wearing Burqa. She's not in the bikini in the beach. So Muhammad have no excuse except he is filthy. Isn't it the Muslim they say 
that the reason men they can do wrong to women because they are wearing the wrong clothing well this woman is not wearing wrong clothing what Muhammad do and then Muhammad to explain to his friends imagine how filthy he is he left his friends he was sitting outside with his friends in the front of his house uh, the women walk by he left his friends outside his door and he went inside to do boop, boop, you know, boom boom to his wife and his wife she was busy doing leather tanning which is a very dirty job she would be sweating she would smell like you know like garbage uh, and he don't care you know he don't care he want to do it now so the woman she is doing leather tanning uh, and he claimed that the reason he did that because the women any woman she come advance in the image of the devil so Muhammad was horny because he was enjoying the devil do you see how evil he is and you see how stupid he is at the same time because if the woman is the devil how he is enjoying looking at her and how the devil make him horny and this is telling you this man is is a, is is, a, is is sick because he should describe his mother and your mother and everybody mother as a devil for no reason and now he claimed that the women is the problem the women she is the devil doesn't matter if she is coming or she is leaving so when Muhammad was sitting with his friends he saw the devil he hold his penis with his hand his penis is getting so active he could not take it because the devil was so sexy and as you know Muhammad is a person who like to have sex with men so how we know that even this is a woman if she is wearing a burqa it might be a man I mean how in the world we will know what is under the burqa I know a story and this is a very real story from Saudi Arabia a person he is a very, 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 very protective. He locked the windows. The windows can't open. The phone, he locked it in the in the in the cupboard before he leave the house. Uh, uh, the the windows cannot open. The door cannot open. There's no phone. He lock it. He take the the you know. This is like in the in long time ago before the cell phone. So his wife is not allowed to have any visitors from her friends unless he is home he have to be home so this woman for almost six months a woman she come to her she knock at the door she is wearing burqa the husband he opened the door he said to her go inside please my wife she is at the at the last room and she go in and etc and then he make coffee and tea and he cannot enter the room because haram haram he cannot enter the room so he leave the coffee outside and he knock uh wife uh, the coffee here huh he spoiled her actually because he don't allow her to go out she don't she's not complaining so he's happy with that she is not complaining for not coming out for six months so he leave the coffee the tea for her and she get it in and then one day his sister she came his sister because she is a female she can join the women so he said to her sister oh my wife she have her friend go inside and join them so the sister she went in and there was a man so for six months a man wearing burqa was coming to the house when the husband is there doing boom boom to the wife and the stupid husband himself, he provided them with the uh, fruits and banana and coffee and tea. So do you see how beautiful the burqa is? The burqa is very useful. All this time, this man is so excited that his wife, she is very obedient. She don't complain. She don't even mention to her mom and her dad that my husband, he don't let me get out. He should like it. She is happy. Six, six months. And look, the boyfriend, he come only when the husband is there. How decent. How decent. So you do not know who is under the burqa. And the burqa is the best way for cheating, actually, because you can see your wife in the street with your friend. And yet you will not know that this is your wife. You would think his, this is his wife. 
She will be next to you. You know, she will, he will stay, talk to him. He say, how are you doing? Ah, assalamu alaikum, how are you? And uh, oh, you are going with your wife. But this is his wife with him. So Islam is a very silly, stupid religion. And the Muslim, they are scoring us about who, how Muslim they look and how they look at women. But as you see, Muhammad himself was a bad man. What about Muhammad going to his own son? And he not only flirt with the wife, when the husband is not there, imagine he go inside the house. Why Muhammad going inside the house? The Muslim they say because he's the father. But have you ever heard of a father? He flirted with the woman who is married to his son. And then he have sex with her. And then he took her to his, his house. And then Allah told him, why you are hiding what you're about this woman? You want to you wanna boom boom to her? Why you hide it? Even his God is a pimp. Even the God himself is a pimp. And then Lili Dawa is going to, you know, they give us speeches about Muslim men what they don't look at women. I mean, go go to Europe and see what they do. Go in Egypt and see what they do. Go if a woman she go in the bus, they she she will she will have a child before she leave the bus. Muslim men they don't look, brother. They don't. Before I start. Just not long time ago, Saudi Arabia, they have a national day. National day, like, you know, in the 4th of July, we have 4th of July, they have their own day. They chase women, they touch their asses, they put their fingers in their asses, and the police is there. Even with the child, children, a child, she is not even like eight years old. They follow the women, and they start touching them all over. He will hold the women from her behind and start boom, boom in the street. And the women, she want to push him away. She cannot. This is in the buffet. This guy want to get coffee. He attached his body to the body of the women. Oh, this guy is in the Kaaba. Look at this. And the one who record this is the Muslims. The one who record this is the Muslims. Look, we are we are praying to Allah now. Actually, I can hold on. Let me let me use Google Translation to translate the search uh, re result. So you can see the title. Not only in Arabic in English. Go in the Middle East. A woman without guardian, she will be raped in less than five minutes. Like what happened to the host of the CNN <laughs> when there was a revolution in uh, in Egypt? Uh, uh, the, the, she she went and she stand between the Muslim Brotherhood and go and see in TV what she said, what happened to her. Look at this child. They are after children, children molestation, children, childrens. Not like this is not women, children's. Look at this. All of those men are chasing those women, touching their asses. National Day 92 Arabia. Watch the video. Look, 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 look what he's doing. Look, look, look. She is wearing Islamic clothing, she is not wearing a bikini. Look at this. They rip out, you know, her, her cover too. This is other women. <laughs> if I play the video for you, I mean, brother, 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 they don't, they don't, Muslim, they don't do those things. They don't. I did not do, I did not search much. I just typed two words in the internet. Take a beer, take a beer. Yeah. Mm. All of this is the topic is what? Is harassing and molesting women. Yeah. They don't, brother. Look, this guy, he want to buy candies from the store. He went behind the women. She's wearing burqa. 
and look how he I mean this the store is busy the store is busy brother I mean don't you see how many people a lot of people there's no space what he would do what he will do he went inside the grocery store the store is so busy there's only him and this woman and the guy behind the counter and now he want to buy candies he's a decent uh, Muslim oh boy Lebanese women harassed in the elevator in Saudi Arabia you deserve it why are you Lebanese going to Saudi Arabia idiot okay uh, yeah okay <laughs> Oh boy, brother Ali Dawa was right. They don't. I just type by the way the National Day Saudi Arabia uh, uh, harassment. I did not type anything. I did not type anything. I did not type even Egypt. You know. She is wearing hijab. Look, there's a woman here. If you notice in the left, she is not wearing hijab right do you notice she is not wearing hijab and there's a woman she is wearing hijab and jalabiya look where is the guy hand is did you notice he is not touching even the women without hijab they say that the women who is not wearing hijab she attract men but look what happened the women who is wearing short sleeves is not the one is being touched. Did you notice? The one is wearing hijab, as you see, is the one being molested. The woman who is not wearing any hijab, short sleeves, she's okay. And the same, I can go in all Islamic countries. I mean, I, the, uh, you know, uh, you name it, uh, Egypt is even more worse. So those Muslims, they make speeches about morality. Like last time we make a video uh, uh, about uh, the strength of Islam, if you remember. The strength of Islam, right? And Yasser Qadi, he said the strength of Islam is what? Is morality. Is what? Morality. If they put... Muslim, they have morality. Nobody has. We have to face it. Who have morality like the Muslim? Nobody. Do we have any Mohammedan from the morality religion to call us and join us? I saw somebody trying to call me, maybe. Let us see. Uh... All right, we want Muslim to call me, guys. I see no Muslims. Maybe this one is a Muslim. Let us see. <coughs> I always mute the, the ring so it doesn't bother you. Hello? Hello? Yeah, and Fakira. Yeah, son of Muta. We don't we don't speak to cockroaches, cockroach. Trash. And this is an, again another example of how low class is religion. This Fakira, she said to me the F word to her prophet and the F word to Allah. Very low class. You know, I speak against Muhammad always. I expose him, but I will never say the F word to Muhammad. This is not a language I would use. Same time, if you do such a thing to Muhammad, that means you are a homo. Because the second you say to a man, he want to do boom boom to him, what does that mean? And most likely, if you do it to Muhammad Fakira, your prophet will give you AIDS. Because there is no evidence that Muhammad died by poison, as Muslim they say. Uh, it might be that he died because he is really suffering from sexual disease and that can be proven easy 
by what Muhammad said that all the women he slept with uh, they have sexual uh, uh, infection Muhammad he described how the women uh, orgasm look like and uh, you know Muhammad make it so clear that the women orgasm all Muslim women who he stepped with their orgasm is yellow and the man orgasm is thick and white and you know for me I did read this hadith many times but I don't know I'm not really expert about women orgasm uh, so I do not know what the color really will be uh, so Muhammad, uh, somebody uh, uh, like have some medicine background or something told me in the chat, well, you need to search because women who have such a color, they have sexual disease infection. Uh, and if Muhammad, he mentioned clearly that all the women, he never saw any women, she don't have a yellow water. Yellow water. That is telling us that Muhammad, he is really, and the women he slept with, they have a sexual disease. So we do not know if this is the real reason for Muhammad to die, or it was something else. You tell me. Uh, in different hadith, we know that Muhammad, you know, as an example, uh, there is a Muslim kid, he, uh, he was angry from a Muslim, other Muslim, other Muslim man. The, the Muslim man, he said, the Prophet, he have no miracle. The only miracle he have is the Quran. Other Muslim kid, he have a channel in YouTube. I saw his video. He said, no, this is not true. The brother is wrong. Didn't the Prophet split the moon? I mean, here we see the stupidity even for the Muhammadan. Where in the Quran it says Muhammad, he split the moon, you donkey. And can Muhammad split the moon? I thought Allah split the moon. So Muhammad, now he split the moon? And the split of the moon is nothing but the eclipse. If the moon is split, the earth will be destroyed. This is not a secret because th there is a balance. And if the moon is split, part of it will be grabbed by the earth and that part will destroy the earth. At least one part, if not two of them. So the Muhammadan, they are desperate to say Muhammad, eh, you know, have a miracle. But the Muslims always, because they are desperate to find a way to make Muhammad a prophet. So in certain time, they start saying Muhammad in the Bible. Then they got busted about Muhammad. For Muhammad does not even mean what they claim. Then they start saying that the Quran have scientific miracle. And now they got busted. So now the Muslim, they are saying, yes, scientific miracle got debunked. So now what is the new solution? What is the agenda for the Muhammadan to make Muhammad a lost connection? Uh, I, I hope my voice is coming clear because I see that there was a, some disturb in the connection. We ask David Wood to send some Abdul here. My friend, uh, it's not David Wood who control where the Abdul goes. Abdul, they go to him because they knew there they can survive. Here they cannot. That's all. If I am like David Wood, the Muslim, they will be lined up to debate me. They will not. The only one who called me is this filthy man, uh, Fakira. Scumbag. And I allow him to, to speak to me many, many times. And we have tons of his videos. You can search them. We made him, we wiped the floor with him. Still this coward, each time you spank him, he called back, he's, you know, like a gambling. You know what happened to you when you go to the casino and you play and you lose your money and you lose your honor. So what do you do? You gamble more. So he keep coming. And I know how to get rid of him. And I think he do that because he want to tell the Muslims, see, he's running away from me. You're so filthy. And that's it. I'm done with you. Anyone can type ultimate part videos, Christian Prince. You will see what happened to you. People will die laughing at you. This potato, you ask him, he don't, he don't agree with the, uh, with the interpretation. Why? Because interpretation will get him busted. 
Okay, what about the hadith? He don't accept the hadith. So I said to him, who? What is the name of the wife of the prophet? He told me Aisha. What is his name of his father? He told me, etc. He said, where you get this information from? <laughs> he said, the books of history. <laughs> Those potatoes, they try, they think if they deny the books of hadith, they say, I'm not going to accept hadith. Do you know why they say that? Because they are ashamed of what their prophet said. Imagine if I say, I deny, I don't accept what Jesus said. You will not say such a thing unless you are ashamed of what he said. The woman she called me yesterday, if you remember her, the day before, the second I mentioned to her the hadith, it says that she is half a brain. She, she said, I don't accept the hadith. Why she don't accept the hadith? I mean, all of Islam is in the hadith. In the Quran, there is nothing. The Quran is an empty book. So they think by denying those things, they can get away. But we get them busted too. Because if a, a, if a Muslim, he will say he accept only the Quran. Okay, who is Muhammad? Who is a Muslim believe in the Quran only can tell me who is Muhammad? I will go with you now, the Quran. Who is Muhammad? Nobody knows. Based on the Quran, nobody knows who is Muhammad. In fact, his name is confusing because the Quran mentioned many names of him. Once he say Muhammad, once he say Ahmad, once he, once he say Mustafa, which one is, what, what his name, what his real name is? Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us live on air? Anyone? Somebody asking, saying, I read your book, and I also heard you talking about Allah being La, moon god of Egypt. I cannot find it online. So if you could help me a bit. My friend, you do not need to find it online. I am I am your source, and we can prove it easy. You can go and re do a little research. You will find that even in the Old Hebrew and the Aramaic, the word A-L is a word meaning God. A-L. As an example, uh, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, uh, the last two letters is A-L. So this is because this is an old name, ancient name. It still have A-L, not E-L. The new Hebrew, the new Hebrew, uh, switch the A-L to E-L. So we say Emmanuel. But in the old Hebrew is Emmanuel. We see Israel. But in the old Hebrew it's Israel. We say Mikael, but in the old Hebrew is Mikael. So El or El can sometime come in the beginning of the word and sometime come at the end of uh, of the word. And uh, either way, it means the same uh, the same thing. It's still the word mean God. This is why if you go like to see what Daniel mean, it says the Lord is my judge, the God is my judge. So, uh, what is the word God? You know, in the word Daniel, not Dan, you know, Daniel is Al. Al is the word God. In the case of Allah, it's A-L-L-Lah. Lah -l -l -lah. Lah is the name, A-L, God, God Lah. But because those Arab, they are they stole the name. They don't know even what the name means. The Arab they have not they have no gods of their own. All those gods are coming from the from from other areas. As an example, the the statues the Muslim they have around the Kaaba, they claim that Muhammad he destroyed them. The one who put the skirt for the Kaaba. I mean, did you ask yourself why they have a skirt for the Kaaba? There's a history about it. When the when the Christians. They conquer uh, uh, the pagans around Jerusalem. Those pagans, they used to have a bazaar. And this bazaar, they place or display their idols. So the Christian, they kick them out. They told them, you cannot do this business here. You can stay, you can live, but you cannot do this business. The bazaar of gods. 
it's a scam you know you convince somebody that this God if you if you give him a donation he will make you have a baby let us say uh, this God if you give him donation like give us food if you want give him food he will make you rich it's a scam so they kicked him out and then they left to a place where there's no Roman authority where the Roman they are not in control and that was Arabia and this is where all those pagans gods they start like flourishing more even though the Arab before they have gods but if you remember uh, uh, the, they don't have like advanced gods like as, as a statues they used to have simple gods as an example as we see in this hadith you see everything we say uh, we have reference for it look what the Arab used to do the Arab they don't have advanced God when I say advanced they do not know how to make statues remember this is Saudi Arabia uh, you know this is a sand desert uh, you know those Bedouin they don't have any civil you know the there's nations was exist before them they have a lot of advance but those people disappear they are gone and I believe there was a drought and those nations either they immigrated or something happened to them before the Arab long before the Arab there was a civilization there but not in Mecca but in the Arabian Peninsula the word Arabia mean mean desert does not mean Arab. Arab is not an ethnic. Many people think Arab is an ethnic. Arab is anyone who live in the desert. So, we used to worship stones. And when we found a better stone, then, then the first one, we would throw the first one and take the later. You see, stone, it's just, a, it's just a stone. It's not even a statue. So, they have a very, very cave time religion. No statues. They don't know how to make statues. When they see in the desert a stone looks strange, look weird, different from other stones, right away they call it God stone. And this is exactly what the black stone is. The black stone in the Kaaba is the God stone. So Muhammad, he copied the, the pagan before him. They, they kiss the black stone, they worship the black stone. Muhammad, he keep it there because he cannot make them angry. And he himself, he kissed it. And then the funny, the Muslim, they say to us that Islam is against paganism. So if they find a stone better than the previous stone, they throw the first one and they worship the later. And look, if we could not get a stone then we would collect some earth dirt, i.e. soil. And then we bring sheep and milk that sheep over it. Can you believe it? And perform tawaf around it. Do you see the source of tawaf? People, do you see the, ori the origin of tawaf? This is a very important hadith if you want to get a Muhammadan busted about the Kaaba and the Hajj. What they are doing? Tawaf. Tawaf is mean going around. And this is before Islam. And you notice here, this is proving many things that Muhammad is a fraud and all the Muslim lies about Abraham is a lie. Why? Because if they have the Kaaba and the house of Abraham, they don't need a stone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why they are looking for a stone if they have the Kaaba? There is no Kaaba. The Kaaba is nothing. The Kaaba is not really important. They don't worship the Kaaba. They don't pray to the Kaaba. They go around the statues which is placed around the Kaaba. The Kaaba is like a bathroom. It's four walls and there is no roof of it and there is a door. People, they go inside and do poo-poo. In fact, the Kaaba never had a roof. Never, never had a roof. The first time they built a roof for the Kaaba, it is when the neighbors of Mecca, they start throwing their garbage on the Kaaba.
from over the wall. And why they do that? Because they want to show the people who they are praying around those idols that our idols are better than them. So it's like a competition for the mall. There was more than 26 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula. Kaaba means a cube. 26. Competition is so big. Every town want to bring more people because that means money and business. So they compete with each other. And as you see, they don't know the God of Abraham. What is the God of Abraham here? Mumi I am. He is saying CP is a great liar. You can say whatever you want. I'm showing the reference. <laughs> Guys, am I showing the reference in the front of them? Is that is that my reference? This is Zahir Bukhari. I mean, the funny about Muhammadan, they go in denial, even though you are showing them their own books. This is not my book. This is your stupid book, you idiot. Don't show me my book. I don't accept my book, right? <laughs> so you show them what is their book is saying, and then they accuse you of lying. No problem. We are laughing. Right? And the funny is the Muslim saying a liar he can't tell anything. So isn't it your prophet, 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 the one who want to make profit from the being prophet? He confessed that he's a liar. Hmm? Isn't it your prophet? He says I fabricated words. Allah he did not say. Huh? Who's a Muslim want to get me busted? Did Muhammad he say that he fabricated words? He fabricated things Allah did not say. Any Muhammad? Any Mohammedan there to call me? All right, we have um, uh, we have somebody here. Look like he left Islam. You know, I find it very funny that Muslims in the beginning, they're so angry from me. Look at this guy. Sultan. This is uh, Saturday, May 27. This year. 10.07 p.m. All right. So, Sultan, why are you, he's saying to me, why are you are mocking and insulting our beloved prophet? Then I, you know, I spoke to Sultan. I remember here. I actually, it's uh, all what I remember here is that the, what the, what the call is the history is saying. We spoke for thirty-seven minutes, and then Sultan saying to me, "You are a gift from God. God bless you. You have opened my eyes. I can look uh, uh, my Lord clearly. I want to thank you and give you my testimony life on air." Isn't it? This is wonderful. So in the beginning, they say, why you are insulting, why you are mocking, why you are attacking, and then they leave Islam and they send you this message. Let us call this guy. <coughs> Hello? Must be Fakira again. Hello? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Piece of garbage. Hello? 
If there is any Muhammadan who would like to join us live on air, you are a pagan person. They lie to you and they say to you, Islam is about oneness of God. In fact, even the oneness of God, Muhammad, he learned from a Jew first time. And until now, Muhammad, he died and he did not know what the oneness of God means. Any brave Muhammadan? So where your tawaf is coming from? From the Arab before Islam. Where is your Kaaba coming from? From the Arab before Islam. There was a 26 Kaaba. Even Arabian historian, Muslim historian, they wrote and they say and they agree. There was a 26 Kaaba before Muhammad. And then Muhammad he started working and eliminating them all. And you will notice something very important, and no Muslim can deny that. Muhammad, when he tried to get closer to the Jews and the Christians, he tried to make himself sound like he believed in their belief. You will notice that Muhammad he started praying toward Jerusalem. Is that correct? So for many years, Muhammad was praying toward Jerusalem. But the question then why? Why he is praying toward Jerusalem if the Kaaba is there? If you remember in the story, in the Quran, there's a funny story, fiction story, about a chapter that's called the elephant. If you go to the end of the Quran, there's a chapter that's called Al-Fil, chapter 105. It's very short and very funny and very silly. The story is saying that a Christian army came to Mecca to destroy the Kaaba. And then Allah, he sent birds, brother, F-16 birds. And those birds are carrying rocks. And they throw their rocks at the Christian army and they killed all the Ethiopian, African, black Christian army. Takbir. Here you notice how stupid this story is. Why? First of all, who in the world want to believe that an army coming from Ethiopia is able to come all the way through the desert with an elephant or many elephants? Do you know how much water an elephant he need? Do you know that elephant he cannot survive even a day in such a trip? Elephant, an average of 600 gallon of water he need a day. A day, not a month, not a year, a day. So how the elephant or those elephant army coming all the way and how they can survive. This is Saudi Arabia where there's no rivers, there's no water, there's no lakes, there's nothing. And then when the army getting close to Kaaba, Allah, he sent birds and those birds are so huge, like the one we see in the movies, you know, like uh, those, uh, what they call them? I don't know. They, I saw a funny movie about those birds, big birds. They, they can carry like 10 men in one, in one foot. Harry Potter. But not long after, the Kaaba was destroyed and more than 10,000 Muslims killed by a man. His name is al Qurmuti. And not long after, Another man, he destroyed the Kaaba and he killed everybody around it. His name is Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al-Thaqafi. He destroyed the Kaaba too. And nobody saw the birds of Allah. And not long after, the American Awaks and the American F-16 and 35 flying over Saudi Arabia. And they did not see the birds. Looked like those birds was protecting the Kaaba when there was idol around it, not when there is no idols. Do you understand? When Allah, he sent those birds to protect the Kaaba, 
He sent the bird to protect the Kaaba when there was idols around the Kaaba and inside the Kaaba. Allah did not send birds to protect the Kaaba when the Kaaba under the control of Muslims only. And why Allah want to destroy an army of Christians who supposedly they want to make the Kaaba a church? Do Allah prefer people who they have 365 uh, 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 goddess around the Kaaba? Any Muslim? And not only that, Al Qurmuti, when he destroyed the Kaaba, he stood up in the middle of the space of the Kaaba and he said to Allah, Hey Allah, where is your bird? What, what? Where is your bird? This man is a challenging Allah. What is your birds? No birds. It's a fiction story. And this is why after this guy, he destroyed the Kaaba, Islam collapsed actually. Islam collapsed. Islam actually collapsed all the way until the oil. When the oil revolution happened, Islam started flourishing. This is not Islam, which is flourishing right now. It's the money of the oil. So they start investing, giving uh, scholarships, even big universities, very expensive, famous universities. Saudi Arabia opened a special uh, uh, unit, or let us say, a uh, 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 branch in those universities, paid and supported by Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Emirat. And the purpose is to promote Islam. You will notice that all those who converted to Islam, we heard about them, those like uh, this pimp, Andrew Tits, and this uh, uh, the other guy, the one they got him from the sink. All of them, they converted to Islam in Dubai. Did you ask yourself why Dubai? What is what what is Dubai? What is in Dubai? Money. You might say, I mean, this guy, Andrew Tits, he have money. He have money, but he want more money. Those are, those are the one who is willing to unzip his pant and take videos of himself masturbating to make money, he is willing to do anything to make more money. The one who is willing to have girls work for him, speaking about it loud and public, and he's proud about it, as a pimp, do you think he will have ever enough money? Is the guy who used to own uh, the Playboy station, the first Playboy station in the world, the filthy man who died like a dog, do he have enough money? He want to have more money. For those are satanic. All of them, they are under the influence of the money. Dubai is the last country can be called Muslims anyway. I mean, bikini and the nightclubs and the drugs. I mean, they claim to be religious, supposedly. But in the same time, they can be more attractive because there you can you can call yourself Muslim, but you can go to nightclub. It's a different version of Islam, you know, just to attract. Like, okay, you know, we are, you, know, you just say Shahada. You don't need, I mean, you uh, Andrew Tetz, you want to drink uh, whiskey and, you know, okay, this is Dubai, you know, you can do whatever you want here. Just say Shahada, come in front of the TV, you know, in front of the camera and say that, right? If the Islamic countries go bankruptcy, you will see how many they will convert to Islam. Nobody will convert. Even those who they are making videos about a reaction to the Quran, they make it just for the sake of money. Because a lot of people will subscribe. But now they are not doing good anymore. I mean, it was like in the beginning, you know, when somebody is white and he called himself a Christian Catholic. Catholic a Christian reaction to the Quran. A Catholic a Christian reaction to... Uh, uh, scientific miracle and he he take a picture of himself and his mouth is open like wow you know and that will make Muslims come and subscribe and click but Muslim these days they notice that this is just a fraud obviously you know and it's not working this is why nobody even watching their videos no more but before if you make a video like this in one day you will get like 50 60,000 uh, uh, hit 
Now nobody, you know, people, uh, you, you can open your mouth and open your anus too. Still nobody will click because Muslims are bored with how many they are making those videos and obviously they are fake. Do we have any Mohammedan here would like to call us? This is the Kaaba. This is an old picture of the Kaaba, right when is you know the, the oil business is started. But this is an older picture of the Kaaba. Look at this. This is not even a hundred years ago. If you look at the Kaaba today and the Kaaba now, this picture, look at the dirt. You see, the Muslims they were building. They, they were forcing Christians to build for them palaces in Spain and in Syria, huge palaces, the floor covered by marble. But look how their Kaaba look like. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why they are building their, those palaces, but their Kaaba is nothing but dirt. All the money they stole from the Christians and the wealth from attacking the Christians, attacking Europe, attacking Syria, attacking Morocco, attacking, attacking, attacking Spain, all the money they generated and Persia, go to the palace of the rulers and they build massive palaces. By the way, the Arab do not know how to build. If you don't believe me, go check Ibn Khaldun. Muslims are so proud about Ibn Khaldun. They say he's the best. Ibn Khaldun himself, he says, the Arab are willing to burn a library in order to cook. This is Ibn Khaldun. He is an Arab speaking about the Arab. They are willing to burn a library. He claimed to be an Arab. They are willing to burn a library so they can cook. And then you see the Muslim, they say to you about uh, saying, and now they are proud about Ibn Khaldun. Ibn Khaldun was a chase. They put him in jail. They accuse him to be kafir. You know, I mean, all those now, they are famous for the Muslims. They are proud about them. But in the time of Muslims, they were used to spit on them. My dear Christian family, pray for me today. My exam result going to get published. My friend, the prayer will not do anything to you. Don't think this way, you know. Uh, if you do good in the exam, you will do good in the exam. If you did not study good, you will not do good. The prayer will not change the marks. All right? Otherwise, none of us will go and study. I go pray, and then I go to the exam, and then I should pass, right? Because I prayed. It, no, it doesn't work this way. Hmm? Don't think like Abdul. We are not Abdul. You work, you work, you study, you get the result. Even the Lord himself, he work. Yeah. You will, you, you will be like the Abdul who was uh, praying to Allah to win the, to win the, the, the lotto. He keep praying for like 40, 50 years. Allah, Allah, make me win the noto. Allah, make me win the noto. Win the noto, Allah, Allah. And the angels of Allah, who they are satanic, they told Allah, come on, Allah, let him, let him, make him win. Allah, make him win, please. Come on, the guy, he praying for you 17 years, 18 years, 19 years. Keep praying every day. Make me, please, Allah, make me win the lotto. Allah, he told them, wait, wait, wait. You know, okay, wait, I'm waiting. So Allah, keep telling them, wait. And then after 50 years, the guy is going to die. The angels, they make a revolution in Allah, the devil of Allah. They went to Allah and said, we will kill you now if you don't make him win the lotto. So Allah told him, I will make him win the lotto. But shouldn't he buy the ticket first? And this is exactly what happened to the Muhammadan. They want to they wanna win the lotto of Allah. But they want to buy the ticket uh, without buying the ticket of Jesus. You don't go to heaven, my friend. The ticket of Jesus is the only one who will make you go to heaven. Do we have any Mohammedan? Yeah, he's so cheap. He want to win the lotto without buying the, the lotto, which is the case of many people. Why you want to convert to Islam? Because Allah, Islam is a good religion. That's a lie. You want to convert to Islam because you are stupid. Because they told you in Islam you will have a lot of women. You are a dreamer. You are, you are, you, are, you know, you are a pervert. 
pervert. One woman, one man. God, when he created Adam, he created one Adam, one Eve. He did not even create two or three or four. If one woman, she can be enough and more than enough for Adam, at that time is going to be enough for you today. And if one man was enough for the women, at that time is going to be enough for her today. Well, I don't know about India, if they play with the exam or not. Uh, okay, let's see here, this guy. We are calling a Muslim, supposedly. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Are you a Muslim? Just one sec. Yes, if, yeah, how are you? Sorry? You, do you hear me? I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, I'm a Muslim, CP. All right. How well, are you? Well, I'm fine. You know, thank God I'm not a Muslim. Well, uh, it's okay. You are not a Muslim. Don't worry. I'm not saying anything. I'm a Muslim. Yes, I should. I shouldn't. And, uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't worry. Let me. Uh, can you give me two minutes? Go ahead. Let me no, no. You, you know you me. I, you know. I, if you listen to me, I like to have a conversation. You know. I mean, we are just being a friendly conversation, correct? I I am okay with the friendly current conversation okay. right. as long as it is an, in a respectful way. Not insulting. I have. I have my way. Nothing. I have my way. I'm not insulting. This is my way of talking. I hope you don't mind. I mean, you are calling me. You know how I talk, right? I'm sure yeah, you yeah, heard me. Fine, yeah, that's I'm fine. sure you're sure you heard me a million times before. So, I, you know, I, okay, so let's have a conversation. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Okay, can you give me two minutes? Go ahead. Uh, just to introduce you myself and okay. to your respected audience. All right. Okay, first of all, I'm not a teenager who's calling you. Okay. I'm a mature person. How old are you? And don't mind. Around my in 50s. 50, okay. Still much. Still, st still teenage. That, okay. Second thing is that. Yeah. I have lived half of my life in Muslim countries and half of my life in Western countries. Okay. I've been to many Western countries like US, UK, Canada, Australia, Singapore. Mm -hmm. I have lived in many, a few Muslim countries as well. Okay. And I have dealt with many Imams, not just one, All right. not just hundreds, okay. but many Imams. Sound good. In Muslim countries as well as in Western countries. All right. Okay. And? Yes, there are things, few imams, I disagree with them. I'm not happy the way they are doing it because they are, to me, they are just misguiding people. Like what? And on the other side, when I deal with uh, Christian priests as well, I get the same response from some of the priests. It's not like they are wrong or it's not like what's going on, but I, I have my own opinion because I don't rely on just the books, but I use common sense. I use... The information I analyze the thing. Basically, I'm an analyst, so I analyze everything before coming back to the conclusion. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is what my understanding is. Go ahead, CP. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, you asked me to speak for two minutes. I thought you would say something important, but you said to me nothing. Oh, what you said to me? I've been in many places. You know, you remind me of my dad. You know, he used to be a pirate for airplanes with my mom. They used to be working uh, that like in the terrorist uh, dot org organization, and you know they went to many countries, and they stop in many airplanes, and they he he have expertise to hijack all kind of airplanes. But what this have to do with my topic? I want to know. I'm, I'm not, uh, you when you I'm say not, to me, I'm good in analyzing, and you you are it sound like you are a thinker. So what you learned about Islam? You know from, from you know, the topic is Islam. Is Islam is a good religion? Yes, it is a good religion. Why? Tell me why. If why? you follow the Islam correctly. Okay, what is the correct? But unfortunately, okay. many people, they don't follow it, which I agree. I was checking. No, tell me the correct Islam. Who showing me. Tell me the correct Islam. Go ahead. My friend, Islam is just when you submit the will of Allah and follow the commandments. What does that mean? And, what, and, what, and, what, and what is the, what is the commandment of Allah? What is the command of Allah? Yeah, the commandments are two. Worship Allah, yeah, Hukukullah, and Hukukul Ibad. These are the two things which you have to take care of it. Okay. Hukukullah means rights of Allah, and Hukukul Ibad means 
rights of the people. All right. You have to do that. Okay. I want if you... you miss anything, if you miss anything, huh. then you will be accountable for that. All right. I want you, as long as you mention to me the right of the uh, people, right? The right of the people. Chapter 2, yes. chapter 2, verse 178. Do Islam teach yes, that people have rights or Islam teach something weird and racism? You are coming from India. But uh, I, I can tell you one thing very honestly. I'm not a scholar. I'm not an Arabic, native Arabic background. So maybe there could be a problem where I could not explain you the things as the scholars or native Arabic speakers. Can, can you call Zakir Naik right now? My friend, uh, I know Zakir Naik, but the thing is Why that don't I'm call not him? here to talk about Zakir Naik. Well, I mean, no, it's not about you are talking because, you know, a second ago you were smart, you visited the world, you've yeah, been, I, I'm you've smart, been everywhere, you you've been everywhere. Your mom, she took you to I'm the supermarket smart. always with her. You buy candies and you give me a report of your life. And now the second I show you a verse, I did not even, you did not even start the verse. You start making excuse and you told me that excuse. Islam is about two things. Hold excuses. on. Islam is about two things, worshiping Allah and giving people their right. Well, here we yes, go. And right. it says, right. okay, it says in the case of murder, if a white man killed a white man, a white man will be killed. If a white man killed a black man, a black man will be killed. So if you kill your slave, you kill my slave. If a man, he killed a woman, his, we, we kill his wife. So what is the right? Is that just as I kill your wife, you kill my wife? Or I should, you should be killed for killing my wife. Which verse is it? Chapter, chapter two, the chap. You are an Indian. You should know this verse. Chapter of the cow. Oh, All Indian because... they knew this chapter, especially the Hindus. They love it. No, no, no. There is a reason behind the cow. What you are uh, okay? About, we will go. A I, I thought because uh, was given. I thought because it is like coming from the Hindu scriptures, maybe. No, no, no. There was a reason. Oh, uh, there okay. was a reason behind. That. I don't know that. I just the, learned from you. Okay, go ahead. Tell me. So what about this verse? The reason was that. Yeah, uh, you have talked about a lot about in your uh, uh, talks that uh, uh -huh. Moses, a person was killed or something like that. Uh -huh. But actually, purpose was that why it was given cow. There were two orphans, and their uh, father was a rich, a righteous person. That's in the historical books as well. And the uh, father prayed to Allah to take care of his uh, sons because. He, he, he was not going to die. My friend, so, this is a fiction story. It's not in the Quran. Friend, the Quran, the Quran, no, the, the reason for the, the reason for the verse to, to be called Al-Baqarah, the chapter, because there Allah, he ordered the Jews to bring a cow and so, yes, that's right. and Moses says to I slaughter agree. it. Okay, don't change the topic. So now give me the verse. Chapter, chapter of the cow, chapter of the Hindu, verse 178. Just one sec. What kind of, ju what kind of justice and what kind of God he come with such a law? So th that's the thing. There, there is just a justice over there, and the scholars are there. They can explain you everything about they did, that. Why they did, there is a justice? They did. They say yes. In the case of murder, a white man will not be killed for killing a white uh, unless he is killing a white man. A white man will not be killed for killing a slave. A man will not be killed for killing a woman, but a woman. I can show you the interpretation. I won't show you. I can show you. Well, I have the interpretation in front of me. Okay, right so read it. Go ahead. What what interpretation you are reading? Well, there are many interpretations. Give me I the name. Follow. Give me the name. What is the name? Uh, well, I follow Ibn Kathir. I follow. Uh, All right. No problem. No problem. Ibn Kathir. Here we go. Anything else. But All I right. don't follow just one interpretation. And the thing oh, is that. Oh, drama. Okay, my friend. Case. So is it justice that in case of murder, if I kill your wife, you kill my wife? Is it justice in the case of murder? If a white man killed a black man, the white man, he will not be killed. Instead, we no. kill we kill another black man who no, is on. this is not the case. This is not the case. Okay. Do you want to you want do you want to do you want to do you want to challenge me? My friend, you need to follow the situation. These do, are. Do you want to? Do you want to? My friend. Change. Okay. Hold. Listen. Listen. Word. Listen. There is no need for this drama. Do you want to challenge me? Why should I challenge you? Because you are saying this is another situation. So I am sure you are. Are you sure? I am sure. Are you sure? My friend, listen. Are you sure? Are that... you sure? I am sure. So either you say to me, I'm sure. Then we open the interpretation or read it. Or you say to me, you are not sure. So I am sure. Are you sure? 
I am not sure about that. Okay, I am sure. So who is the winner? Before we start the game, I won. So I am no, sure. No, you don't give money. I said go to the scholars. The scholars are there to explain. Uh, okay, to here we go. This is the scholars in front of me. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. Uh, well, the, the Tafsir al-Jalalain is not the only authentic one. No there problem. We can, go to Ibn yeah. we can go to Ibn Kathir. We can go to Al-Qurtubi. We can go to uh, anyone, anything you want. All of them are saying the same. So look what happened. You gave me your history. You went to Asia, you went to America, you went to England, you went to Canada, you went to Australia, you went to the yeah, supermarket. Yeah. It turned to be that you cannot even read one word in your Quran. And now suddenly what? you know nothing. So all the the, 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 inter, the introduction you gave me and etc. it proved nothing. Here we go. It says, in the, in, it says in the front of me, free man, here we go. If, if, if a free man killed, a, a, for a, a free man will be killed for a free man and not for a slave. Do you see it? And a slave for a slave and a female for the female. Do you see it? I am checking it in the Quran. It's in the Quran saying the same. Well, I'm not checking your screen. I'm checking the Quran. My friend, the we Quran look at the right Quran. Now. You said to me, don't read it from the Quran. You need the scholars. We went to the scholars. You My are saying friend, to me, don't look at the scholars. Look at the Quran. There is always a background history in which cases, what law? This is in the case of murder. Like in the case of murder. This is general. Listen, listen. This is general murder. I have nothing to do with the person. In the case of murder, this is what you do. Free for the free, slave for the slave, Women for the women. What history? You want to make a drama? So Allah now will give him Muhammad Allah for any murder. Any murder. In the case of murder, if a white man, he killed a white man, the man will be killed. If a white man kill a black man, we kill his black man. So now we have two no, victims. This is not the thing. No, it's man. in the front of you. That's not the thing. It's in the front me. of you. It says, if a free man kill a free man, a free man will be killed. And a free man, not for a slave. Which, which and one a sl are you talking? Which one are you reading? Going ahead. Chapter two, verse one seventy-eight. Chapter two, chapter two, one seventy-eight. I'm going through there. Mm -hmm. But which verse? Uh, but which tafsir are you going? Through? A Jalalain. I'm reading right now. Okay, I'm not going through the Jalalain right now. So what do you want? Do you I'm want going to... through the Ibn Kathir here? Okay, go to Ibn Kathir. But the thing is that the uh, don't, tell the don't tell me the thing. Don't tell me the thing. Don't tell me the thing. You are, you are, man, you are my friend. Be. I am. No, Islam does not allow my friend. Like my friend, you are acting like Joe Biden. The thing, you know the thing. So what the thing? I, I you said to me, to you said to me, Ibn Kathir. I said, okay, read Ibn Kathir. Now you don't want to read Ibn Kathir. As long as you no, have no, Ibn no, Kathir I'm in the front of. I'm not saying anything. Listen, I'm no, not. You know the thing. No, you told me. You told me. You told me. You know the thing. So maybe I cannot explain. You are acting like Joe Biden now. You know the thing. So do you know the thing or you do not know the thing? Sorry, we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir saying the same. Free for free. Here we go. It says in the law and former, they're free for free, slave for a slave, female for the female. <laughs> this is Ibn Kathir. My friend, it's, it is possible. But the thing is that it's the uh, you, you cannot say that if a white man kill a black man or a black man kill a white it man. Says that, it says that it says that in the front of us. It says it wrong. says it says that it says that my friend. Not only that, it says that in the case of uh, if a Muslim he killed non-Muslim, a Muslim will not be killed. If a Muslim kill a Muslim, he will be killed. What is justice? So what the Prophet says in the case of murder, uh, if uh, no Muslim will be killed for killing non-Muslims. Why? Because non-Muslims are like dogs for Muslims. No, 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 no. no it's in the front of you. True. You are the this one who said. You are the one who said to me, "You like Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir, and this is Sahih Bukhari." My friend. Prophet never said that non-Muslims are dogs at all. This is your he wrong. said that. Really, okay. If, if non-Muslims were dog, uh -huh. as you claim, so why so why if a Muslim why if a Muslim kill non-Muslim he would Muslim would not be killed. But if a Muslim kill a Muslim will be killed. Why? Do 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 you know that why non-Muslims, especially Christians, used to come and live under Muslim states? My, my friend, in Ottoman, my friend, in Spain, you are the most. You, you are you, you are the you are the most. Justice, you are the most stupid person I ever. The most unfair. the most stupid ignorant person I ever spoke to. We never go no, to no, Muslim no, no, country. It's you. Right. It's you, you who come to no, our no. country and you occupy our country. What do you mean we go to our country? Which what country is yours? Know, we occupy our country. Do you know who? Uh, why Muslims went to Spain? Do you know that? Why? Why? Tell me. There was a Jew who wrote a letter to Musa ibn Nasir that a Christian king, Roderick, 
used to rape their female, abduct them and put them in the slavery. And that's the way uh, Musa bin Nasir sent his uh, 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 army. My friend, my friend, my friend, you are stupid like your prophet is not uh, Musa no, ibn no, no, Nasir. Musa, like ibn, ibn, Musa ibn Nasir is not the one who decided the war. It was the caliphate. He decided that for the sake of the Musa, money. Musa and later, and the later they and killed Ibn and, and, and now Zahid and then and then and, then, and then, then they killed him and then Africa. listen and then they killed him the the Amuyin they brought yes. him because they I, asked I him they, they asked him listen listen the Muslim they, they, no 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 they hold on don't 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 tell me I agree don't tell me I agree there is no Jewish in there and there is no Jewish living in Spain and you are a liar this is number two number number one listen number one if the Jews they are the Jews are asking the Muslim to free them the Jews are living like dogs and the Muslims the Jews they no, are being no, no. is this it is, is it case. your is isn't it your prophet is it you listen 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 okay hold on isn't it your prophet he said I will kick all the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula yes or no why why he said that a second you ago a second ago that? you said we like to go and live under the protection of muslim a second after he says why is that why tell me why no 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 why why he did that why why he did why not say anything the jews were doing the conspiracies against the prophet they refuse the prophet did that. what what the christian what the christian what the christian i will i will let it go i will let it go with the jews what the what the christian did to muhammad my friend, your prophet Abraham, prophet Abraham what the Christian did, did to the Muhammad, Kama, the Christian they gave Muhammad. Listen, listen, you, you see, yes, you're, you're yes, acting like a monkey. Everywhere. Each time I show you a reference, you jump. What the Christian did to Muhammad, the Christian, they protected Muhammad. The Jews okay, themselves, uh, the Jews themselves, they protected Muhammad. They welcomed him in their city and then he killed them all in their city. The Christian, they will come in Ethiopia and they give him protection. And after that, he decided to kill them all in the Arabian Peninsula. And this is your prophet saying, I heard the message of Allah saying, if I am victorious, I will kick all and the Christians. He, he commit he commit genocide, actually. All the Christian and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula, which means if you, either you die or you, you run for your life. I will certainly, if I am victorious, Muhammad said, I will kill all the Jews and the Christians or, or I will expel them. And the Quran, chapter 9, did verse 29, that? chapter 9. Did he do that? What? He did. How many were killed? There is a lot, all of them, zero. There is not. Z many? There is there is zero Christian, zero Muslim, zero Jews left in Saudi Arabia, zero. Until now, my friend. Until now, there is zero. You you don't know the background history. Abdul, That's why Abdul, you're Abdul, this. Abdul, how many you're, how many Saudi citizen they are Christians or Jews in Saudi Arabia? Zero. Is that correct? At the moment, no, nothing. At the moment, there uh, there would be in Riyadh or some. Just. Take a hike at the moment. <laughs> what at the moment? You stupid idiot. At the moment, there is a church too in Saudi Arabia. There is no atheist in Saudi Arabia. Zero atheist. Have you ever heard of a country have zero atheist? Have you ever heard of a country have zero homosexual? Why they kill them? The second you say you're a Christian, they will kill you if you be, if you are a Saudi. Me, myself, I have an admin. He used to be an admin in my chat room. His name is Saudi Christian, those who knows very well. And he used to add me in other chat room too. He was executed. He used to use a nickname. He thought nobody would know him. He trusts some people and they find out about his name. And he was killed in Saudi Arabia. Listen, don't waste my time. L listen, listen. I'm don't waste my thing. time. Don't waste my time. Let me, let me ask you. I, I, I will make it simple to prove Islam is bad or good. Was Muhammad a pervert man or a good man? Pervert. He was, was a he? good man. Okay. Is it true that your prophet, he went to the house, his own son house, and he flirted with the wife when she was married to Muhammad? To, to, no, it was to his son. absolutely wrong. So why it's written in the, in your books? You said to me the scholars, they know. Somebody if somebody wrote something hundred or two who is somebody who is somebody this is this is your this is your prophet wife your prophet wife this is somebody my friend my friend do you know that what is what you're a prophet wife time? listen i don't care this is your muslim books 
aren't you aren't you learning about your prophet from what your prophet said from the companion and from what the wife said she said my friend there are many things which we check it from here and there it's not Christianity. it's even in the quran even in the quran allah said to muhammad why you hide what you have in your heart for this woman she is married have you ever heard of a god Let that, that was something else turned up. That was something else. Go and talk to the scholars. They will explain you what. So anything is. I say to you, you say the scholar. If we go to the scholar, you say I don't accept the scholar. Is that what you would do? Is that the no, game? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, can we go? Can, oh, shut up! Shut up! Listen, listen. Just to show you, just to show you why I don't respect people like you. I'm not insulting. You say to me, go you and see this. Listen, 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 you. listen. You say to me, let us go and see the scholar. Can I open the scholar? and see what he says about this verse. Do you accept? My friend, if there is an educated scholar... A second you ago, you it, said, you go and scholar ask the scholars. Why should I accept that? Why you don't that, accept? You said to me, go and see the scholars. Which scholar you are going? Which scholar you are going? You're a scholar. I follow, I follow more than 50 scholars. I follow more okay. than 50 scholars. Name for me the 50 scholars, and I will give you the 50 scholars. Start. Go ahead. Well, there are 50 scholars. I, I check everything. I check uh, scholars in USA based in Texas. Shut up. Scholar based in Texas. Let me block you. A scholar based in Texas. That is new. A scholar, he is a cowboy based in Texas. When we say scholars, you idiot, we say those who they are from the old time. Not Yasser Kadhi, not Mimi Hijab, the, the boy, not the guy, the Lili Dawa. You know, we scholar, you know what scholar mean? The ones who all Muslims accept them as a scholar, not a YouTuber. Potato. Like Al Qurtubi, a Jalalain. Ibn, Ibn Kathir, I don't consider him a scholar, but I will let it go. So you said to me, Ibn Kathir, we go to Ibn Kathir, and they don't want to read Ibn Kathir. We say a Jalalain, you don't want to read a Jalalain. We say Al-Qurtubi, you don't want Al-Qurtubi. So it doesn't matter what we say to you, you will not accept because all of them, they will get you busted. You are, you are a fraud like your prophet. You have no dignity. You, Muhammadan, have no dignity. We say, this is your book. So you say, you don't want your book. There's maybe 50 scholars. Okay, give me the 50. There's a guy is in Texas. What does this have to do with my topic? Give me the scholar who wrote about this from those who they are considered scholars. Not somebody is running a mosque in Texas and at the same time he owns a restaurant for shish kebab and falafel. This is what they do. I mean, you wait all day waiting for somebody who is, you know, Christian prince. I was, I'm not a kid. I'm not a teenage. I've been in Australia and Canada and USA and all this to say to me at the end, the second we show him a verse, he starts making drama. Ask the scars. Okay, let us open the scars. You don't want to read the scars. Your prophet is a scumbag. Even the wife of Muhammad, who is the wife of his son, she said that after the prophet he flirted with her. Each time he Muhammad, he, uh, her husband tried to sleep with her. Allah, he make his penis swell. And the Christian they say that Allah don't have miracles. Here we go, the miracle of the penis. Imagine Muhammad, he flirt with married women. And this is what the Muslims say, flirt. I'm sure he was effing her already, excuse my language. But this is what it is. Because if she is not a whore, she will not be proud in front of her husband when he came to home, saying to him, by the way, your father was here and he said, I'm so sexy. And his heart is a flipping for me and he prays Allah for my beauty. What a whore. A good woman, she will soak, she will go crazy. She will throw her shoes at Muhammad. She will kick him out of the house. She will say, shame on you. You are the father of my, my, my husband. This whore, she was proud in front of her husband. And then the husband in the, in the, in the reference, it says, for Fatina Zaid. So Zaid, he got it. Oh, my dad is doing boom, boom to my wife. So he went to his filthy father, Muhammad, and he said to him, listen, I don't like this woman, by the way. Suddenly, you don't like her. She's bad, you know. She's not good, you know. And then Muhammad, the hypocrite, look how coward he is. Look how sneaky he is. He said to the man, 
Keep keep your wife, man. Keep your wife. Keep your wife. Now, come on, just go home. Go home. Keep your wife. And then Muhammad, after this guy left, the rumor there started spreading about what Muhammad doing with this woman. So he have to fix it. So he claimed that Allah told him to go and if her. It's not him. Look, and remember when you say to Zaid, uh, you know, and look what they add between the bracket, free the slaves, you know. <laughs> oh, whom Allah have bestowed a, a grace. Let, let me change the translation. They are adding all those things is not there. It's not even part of the Quran. This is how we clear the Quran. They have to add like tons of uh, of words and sentences. And yeah. So look what happened here. Why Muhammad? Why? Behold, though did say, uh, to the one who had received the grace of Allah and the favor, retain your your wife and fear Allah. So Allah saying to him, why you say that to this man? Why you told him retain your wife? Don't you want her? Don't you like her? Aren't you horny for her? Huh? You don't tell him that because you fear that people will say, look, he married his son. And the fifth Muhammad, after this, he forbid adoption. Just to make his marriage, which is nothing but fornication, to this woman, lawful. Arab always used to adopt, especially men who cannot have kids. And this is additional proof that Muhammad, he never have kids. He adopted this man. Muhammad is a potent man. He cannot have kids. And most likely he married this man to this woman so he can have access to the house anytime. So people will not say, why this man keep going inside the house when the husband is not there? But now he is legitimate father. Muhammad, he screamed, he says, Zaid is my son. Everybody should know from now. I am his father and he is my son. He is from me and I am from him. So he announced him as a son. He married him to this woman. And according to Al Qurtubi, she was very big and beautiful. In case you do not know, the Arab at the time of Muhammad, you know, like the beauty scale changed. So in the old days, they believe that if a woman she is a skinny, that means she is sick, she is ugly, she is not healthy, she is not she's not going to be a good wife. There's no beef. So, a woman she is big, full of meat, is the one is beautiful. So they describe her as she was so big and white. So when Muhammad he saw. Uh, uh, he saw her supposedly and she was wearing see-through clothing according to the, the Muslim story and the wife of Muhammad's story right away when the husband he came at night to sleep with his wife his wife she said each time he tried to get close to me Allah has make his penis swell And then this guy, he would say to me, oh, you know, uh, you know, yeah, well, yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> it's your scholar say that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. It's your prophet wife said that. The wife, imagine the wife of the son, she said such a story that the husband, her husband, after Muhammad, he saw her and he wished to if her Allah make the penis of the husband as well because he did not divorce her right away. It took like a few weeks after. So in a man, each time he want to sleep with his wife, Allah and he make his penis as well according to the wife. And those Christians, they say that Muhammad have no miracle. Here we go. Muhammad, he like a woman. Any man, he tried to have sex with her. Allah will make his penis as well. And this is a clear evidence that Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. He is the penis as well God. 
In the same interpretation, it says, if the prophet, his eyes fail into a woman, or the prophet, he has a 16 privilege. If any woman, his eyes fail into her, the husband, he must divorce her immediately. So Muhammad, he can if her. Can you believe it? The husband must divorce her immediately. So the prophet can if her. We have the reference, we have your book. And you cannot deny it. So what the Muslim they do, like this guy, they play the game of accept and he don't accept. When they want, they accept. When they want, they don't accept. When they want, see the scholar. When they want, we do not know the scholar. When they want, the scholar is good. When they want, the scholar is it's just a human. You know, he's a human. You know, I mean, are you going to take what a human said as if their prophet is God? You know, and uh, this is what your prophet said. This is what your law said. This is what you Muslims say. This is evidence against you, not against me. This is the book here. I will share it with you. <laughs> Let us see. What a filthy man. What a filthy man. I'm just uh, trying to find uh, uh, a website where I can share. All of them, they are official actually. But there is some of them, they have like Arabic uh, title. In the in the link, <laughs> all right. That's that. This is the best one. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is Saudi Arabia website. Here we go. We found this one. Here it says in this uh, website. It says how Allah he made the penis of the husband as well and not only that you will see if you go here I, I, will, I will you can use uh, the, the page I post for you use Google translation and then you will see that they are counting the privilege of Muhammad the privilege of Muhammad this is number one two three four five six seven etc and then we arrive this is the most disgusting evil one ever I can imagine Uh, here. Number 10, number 10, privilege number 10. إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَى إِمْرَأَ وَجَبَ عَلَى زَوْجِهَا طَلَاقُهَا If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. Let us use Google Translation so we can read together. And again, this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. So they cannot say, uh, Oh, this is a, a fabrication. Oh, this is the Kuffar website. Uh, this is a Christian Prince website. This is the Jews website. Hmm. Let us see. Where is... 
It was 10th or 11th, hold on, it was. Yeah, maybe there is there is a Y number ten. Uh, let's see. Look like Google translation is not coming accurate. Let's see. See here it says number ten. Uh, let us see the fifth. We go to the fifth and see here the fifth. It says and Nikaha All right. Translate to English. And then we search. Uh, this is why I think that the same numbers appear twice. Okay. Yeah, there's two twice, ten. Okay, here we go. If his site, read with me. Number ten, in the page, in the page when you translate to Google, if you search for the word tenth in English, it's going to appear twice. So it is the second one in the page. Number 10, if his sight falls on a woman, her husband must divorce her and she is lawful for him to marry her, to F her, not to marry her, to F her. Can you believe it? If his sight fall in a woman, those is a privilege. You know, like when they show you in the movies, like in the old days, like uh, the Khan, he liked the wife of the soldier, so he, you know, he killed the soldier, he take the wife. This is Muhammad. Very evil, disgusting man. The husband himself, he, like a puppy, he will give his wife like a pimp to Muhammad. Just Muhammad, his eyesight fall in her. That's it. He did not even need to ask for her. It's in the front of you, and this is what? This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and this is Al-Qurtubi. Read with me. Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, page number 424 in their website. The chapter of Al-Ahzab, verse number 50. And then they say to you, the Prophet was the most trust, trustworthy, as sadiq al amin Oh, not to forget, Muhammad, he made, and Khadija, they made her father drunk. So they make him believe that when he was a drunk, he married Khadija to Muhammad. This is how trash he is, scammer. This is a con man. Imagine him and Khadija, they made the father of Khadija get drunk, and they change his clothing. So when he wake up, he asked them, why I'm wearing my suit? You know, at that time they have their own suit, you know, like for special occasion. They don't wear them every day. Those people are the desert. So they have casual, you know, clothing. And when there's a celebration, they wear the new clothing. So they drunk him, Muhammad and Khadija. And when he woke up, he found himself wearing his fancy clothing. He said, why I'm wearing those? His wife, she said, uh, his daughter, she said, Khadija, she said, oh, don't you know what you did yesterday? You don't remember? He said, what? He said, yesterday you were drunk and you married me to Muhammad. He said, I swear by Allah, I did not. She said, do you want me to tell the people that you were drunk? And people will start laughing at you. Look, she's black in male. She blackmailed her father. This is how faithless Khadija is. Khadija is a very old woman compared to Muhammad. Muhammad is a young boy. He's poor. You see, the Muslim, they say, Muhammad is coming from a big family, blah, blah. Muhammad is coming from a very, 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 very nothing family. You know, nothing wrong with being poor, by the way. But even Khadija's father, he don't want to marry Muhammad to her because he's coming from a bad family, not because he's poor. Even he took his sword. He says, I'm going to, you know, uh, I'm going to go and war with his family. If they do that, if they marry you, you know, because they are trashy. But the Muslim, they say Muhammad was from the more decent, the most, uh, um, you know, they are the one in charge of the Kaaba. They are the one, the leaders of the tribe. They are nobody. In the same time, 
you will notice that even Muhammad, nobody from his family want to have him in his house the, the, to the point even they send him to a Bedouin women far away from the tribe because nobody want to have him. Muhammad was born after four years of his father, according to Muslims. So how he can be the son of that father? He did not approve Muhammad, obviously something wrong with him. And actually the story proving that Muhammad is bad, why? If Muhammad is a good man, he will never accept the trick to make the father of Khadijah get it drunk so they can lie to him that they get married. Don't you agree? Do you think a man, he makes such an act, he's a good man? Which means even his marriage to Khadijah, his first action in life was a fraud. And this is what the Muslim they say, you know. You see, all those uh, stories is from their books. And the Muslim, they say that those stories after the, after like uh, the scholars, they filter the stories. There's tons of stories we never heard of because the Muslim, they dump it. The Muslim, they dump the story. If you read uh, 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 like Ibn Ishaq, all those uh, those books, you will see right away it says that there's many things it does not be fit to the Prophet to tell. We did not mention it. They took it away. Actually, all those books you see, it says Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Why? Because they start filtering stories in order to avoid many horrible stories. And this is supposedly the stories they approve. Can you believe it? Those are after filtration. So what the story was before filtration? Imagine even the Muslim cleric, you know, the Muslim cleric in YouTube, they go and they speak about the story. They are proud about it. How Muhammad, he made Khadijah and Khadijah, they made their father drunk, the father of Khadijah drunk, so they can convince him that he married them. This is a speech in the mosque. I wish I can find the video. Let us see. You see, they, they have only the audio of those sheikhs. <laughs> they are proud that Khadijah and the Prophet of Allah, they made the father of Khadijah brother, they made him drunk. This is how good the Prophet is. I mean, is it obvious? And they say to you, Islam is against alcohol. And if Muhammad did not marry Khadijah, Muhammad will never become a prophet because by her money, he became somebody. Her money. Look. <laughs> she liked. She wanted to marry him. Khadijah, she wanted to marry him. And all the stories agreed that Khadija she did the following. What she did? Khadija herself is the one who asked for the hand of Muhammad. I mean, look at this woman. She is the one who asked Muhammad. She begged him to marry her. See how good Muhammad is. Now Khadija, she is a woman. She married many men before. She killed them all. Obviously, she took their money. Uh, and now she wants to have a young boy. And now the Sheikh is so proud. She's saying, Khadija, she is the one who asked for the hand of Muhammad. Let us skip a little bit. <laughs> Anyway, uh, most of you don't speak Arabic, but, but I can share the link with you. 
about the story here we go I will share the link but this is remember in Arabic this is only good for those who speak Arabic so they are proud how Khadija she made her father drunk and how Muhammad he accomplished his first uh, accomplishment in life to get Khadija by alcohol so it turned to be that Muhammad himself his best tool in life of success it was alcohol remember Muhammad he claimed that alcohol is from the hand made of shaitan and rotates he become rich from the whip camera and vagina Muhammad he becomes so rich from marrying a very old woman how he married her by fraud and now the Muslim they will say it doesn't say that CP oh we can find you the reference too not only the video <laughs> what, a, what and you know they say to you Muhammad is the trustworthy brother the trustworthy he is a trustworthy yeah I mean, what do you want more? Your wife, she will make her father drunk. So you can take her to bed. The father woke up in the morning. He found them together in bed. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, father, don't you know? Yesterday you married me to him. Me? I will never marry you to such a scumbag like Muhammad. You know, oh, so do you want me to tell the people that yesterday you were drunk? Huh? Do you want me to tell the people? Hmm. <coughs> anyway. Let me post for you the hadith. So you can share the reference in case a Muslim he asks you where you get this is from. This is the book of Musnad Ahmad. I will use Google Translation. This website is not open. Let's try another website. And no, I think the Muslims they are blocking blocking me. You know, look, each time I try to open their website, you know. Do you remember the hadith about about uh, Adam was created from the like the, the the white people they are from the right shoulder, and uh, the uh, the black one from the left shoulder and then he made the white go to heaven that hadith in al ilm website is totally gone they took it off you cannot find it no, this website open okay let me share the link with you they took the hadith off totally and there it says sahih but we show it many times in the screen but now we cannot find it this is the hadith, this is Musnad Ahmad. Volume number one, page number three, 12. Hadith number three, sorry, 2846. And you can use Google Translation on your side, and you will see the story, how Khadija, she made her father drunk. She invited many people, she made a party, she served alcohol. She made them drunk. Uh, you know. To make her father believe. That he married her. And when he wake up. And he refused to accept that he married her to him. She said to him you make yourself miserable. 
what about I tell Quraysh, the tribe, that you were drunk? Should I tell them? Do you see how do you see how she is blackmail her father? You know, uh, Muslim they try to present uh, like that. Muslim women they are nice, kind, uh, shy. They wear burqa. They are obedient to the husband. If you go in the Middle East, you will not believe how the men they are washing dishes. If you go and search right now and search for, you know, like when you search for domestic violence, usually we are talking about what? About the man beating the wife, correct? In the Middle East, no. When you search for domestic violence, it is the women beating the men. Muslim women are very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. And Muslim men are very submissive in the street when you see, you know, he's a man, you know, but in, in the house, he is a chicken. If you don't believe me, I can search right now for domestic violence in Morocco, as an example. How many men they got beaten every day by women? They created actually a men in Morocco. Uh, what I was search for, let me remember. I showed it to you before. Uh, so the men they created a, like a, a club to uh, for like a, like a human right club to protect men from domestic violence. You can even, I think, even you see it in the CNN. Hmm. Uh, here we go. I found their Facebook too. You want to subscribe? Who want to subscribe? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> look, 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 look. This is. The human right, the the men, Moroccan human right, men men to defend men from domestic violence, women against them, from women violence. I'm not joking. This is not a joke. This is real, you know. Yeah. So uh, uh, look, he is carrying a car. Supposedly, it's a, you know as a joke, but the woman she is she is sitting in the top of him. Uh, this woman, she is molesting this guy. Uh, yeah, it looks like all the page is about, about uh, the men right. Let us use Google uh, Translation. Moroccan Association of Defense of the Right Men Victims of Feminist Violence. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> and look, they have they have an organization and conference. Look, look, zoom, 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 zoom. You know, yeah, like you know, a lot of men they are beaten every day by the women in Morocco. Man, look at this. I'm sure this is a French language there because no, it's English actually. No, that, French conference the. Uh, anyone can see? I don't know. Like it's uh, hard to read this French. Conference, the foundation, foundion. Uh, it's hard to read the rest. Defense, their rights. <laughs> You know, yeah, but you know, when you see those women in, you know, they were in hijab and they are like supposed to be shy and, you know, oh boy, go and see in the Middle East. Like we say the man in the Quran, he can beat the wife. Yeah, yeah, but in reality, there's a lot of things, different story. Yeah. 
Uh, this is the independent Arabic. You know independent, right? They are even seeking refuge in Europe, running away from their wives. So a man, he come to Europe asking the European Union for refuge because his wife, she might kill him. Look at this one here. Where is the thing? Yeah, look at this one. I tried to post it, but uh, it's uh, the link is so long. Thousands of men, Moroccan men, looking and searching for refuge from uh, uh, a family uh, violence against them. And sometimes they are being kicked out from their houses by women. How disgusting, brother. And the sign there, it says, the, uh, the Association of Defense for Men Right. What do you want more? Hmm? <clears throat> Let us see if I can translate this page here. Thousands of Moroccan, again, this is the independent, you know, the independent newspaper, but this one is in Arabic. So I'm using Google Translation. Thousands of Moroccan men are seeking refuge from domestic violence. They are sometimes expelled from, from their houses and seek help from a human rights association. So like there is many, uh, they think if they marry a Muslim woman, she will be obedient. She is like the one is like wearing hijab. You know, she is like, you know, so uh, read the women you like, you know, the, the, you know, the women, she she wash your feet, you know, she do belly dancing for you. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you got <a> screwed. <laughs> oh, boy.